Hi guys, this is Asal, and today I wanted to make a quick video for you to talk about how to prepare for trial. Yes, I've personally never been to trial before, but I have worked on cases and I have helped the attorney prepare for a trial. So I do have an idea of how you prepare for a trial and what steps you take. First of all, I would like to let you know that less than 5% of all cases go to trial. This is not very common. And usually the attorneys that go all the way to trial, they're the ones who are very experienced. Usually people who've been working for many years and are really good at going to trial. With that being said, I'm going to talk about how you prepare for a trial. What is trial and what do you need to get to trial? Basically, trial is your last resort, is the last place that you have the chance to actually present your evidence to the judge and the jury. And this is your last chance to convince them, persuade them, and have them make decisions the way you want them to make the decisions. So in trial is the place where you actually persuade the judge and the jury to decide the way you want them to decide and you present your evidence. The next thing I'd like to talk about is what is evidence exactly? Like, what can you bring to court? Can you, for example, bring the statement of someone who said something to someone else in court? The answer is no. There's certain evidence that you can bring into court, but there's certain other evidences that you're not allowed to bring into court, such as hearsay, okay? Let's get into that a little bit more because this can get a little bit complicated. You know, like in law school, we have a whole year of evidence one and evidence two, trying to understand what is hearsay and what are the exceptions to hearsay and what kind of evidence comes into court. So this is more complicated than me making a short video. But what I can talk about is what are different types of evidences? Because we have, for example, a physical evidence, which would be photos, emails, text messages, um, social media accounts, those would be physical evidence, but we also have testimony evidence. And what is that? That is basically when someone comes in court and talks about their own personal firsthand knowledge. So in order to have that testimony evidence is very important for that to be firsthand knowledge because someone else cannot testify to what someone else said. That would be hearsay. With that being said, how you prepare for a trial, you have to make sure that you have all the proper evidence in because during trial, the judge would probably not give you time to go search for that evidence and bring it in court. So all you do is you make sure you have the proper exhibits, the proper um, pictures or absolutely anything you want to present in court. You must make sure that you have that prepared during trial. And then during trial, you go ahead and you make your arguments so that the judge or the jury will decide the way you want them to decide. Anyway, I really hope that this video was helpful and you have an idea of how you could prepare for a trial. I really hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day. Goodbye.